hello everybody and welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is the Permadeath playthrough. So we're just basically doing a regular playthrough of the Permadeath, uh, of, of the game, if you will, of the main storyline, but in Permadeath mode. So, you know, obviously such things as a limited capacity in your, uh, in here is going to be necessary. You see, certain things I am able to keep a certain amount of, and other things we can only keep a limited amount of. That's just in my starship. On my person, you can see that we're limited to about 500. So, we could have maxed out settings and made them all really, really severe, but this is where we are. Now, I've got quite a bit of copper in here, so that is in preparation for later when I'm going to be building some other things. But, we are in our log right now. We are at this stage of the main storyline. Find us, hear us. Yes, we're going to locate our benefactor. Now, this is going to probably get us to the point where we're going to see the, or be able to get to the anomaly, finally. Now, once we get there, I'm going to do a few things. If any of you have been playing the game for a while, obviously you're going to have some things in the Quicksilver store, so you can actually adjust your entire appearance. As you can see, I'm at a default appearance right now. And granted, I could go up here on the space station and readjust my appearance to other things that I currently might have access to, but I'm not going to do that. So, oh, that is pretty, isn't it? That's actually a good-looking fighter. I'm going to go take a look just and, and, goggle, and, and uh, goggle it for a little bit here. That's actually quite pretty. I love the spinner on the back. Very nice. Oh, there's three of them. <laughs> That's even nicer. How much is it going for? Hmm, about four million. Uh, what's the... See, 24 and 14, and I am currently at 25 and 13. Really no big difference. No big difference between the two. It's a pretty ship. You gotta wonder. You gotta wonder. I mean, I can't really buy it right now or anything like that, but... Let's just take a look at the ship here. Yeah, they got a supercharged slot right here. Who knows what these slots will be like, because you if you populate that, these slots, it might get to the point where you get more supercharged, especially if you can upgrade the class. So, that might be a pretty ship to get your hands on one of these days. Yeah. Negotiate price, I don't think I have the... Well, I have the credits to buy it if I wanted to, but... I'm going to hold off. That's not why we're here, but it is a pretty ship, and hey, you know, let's take a couple moments to enjoy the niceties of No Man's Sky. So, we're back to our Radiant Pillar. Yay. Let's go ahead and jump on board and head out. Let's see where this takes us now. It's only just that we should really search the galaxy, so it's time to, as it says at the bottom right, explore nearby planets or search in a new system. So, let's just see what happens when I scan. It's a flourishing planet in front. We got salvageable scrap, which is good money. Okay. How are we doing on tritium? We're okay. We got a storm crystal in here too. That's good. It's been a while since I played my played this playthrough. Trying to prevent myself from sneezing right now. I mean, yes, I've got a uh, a mute button, but still, you don't want to go up, Louie, and you know, accidentally, you know, deafen everybody in the uh, in the video because you accidentally didn't press that. Uh... That's not bad. That should give us a little bit more. All right. Alright, so, we did a scan, nothing came up except the space station, so I'm going to go ahead and access the galaxy map like it says. Uh, our, it looks like our hyperdrive is at 40%. Okay, so we can get going here, so let's go ahead and move on. So that was a pretty decent system, it's a two star system, so we're not going to get much out of it. Um, let's see if we got a yellow star nearby. How about this one? How many planets we got? Three. I'm going to go for something that has a little more, a few more planets, if you will. That's four. Add a moon on it, though. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, four, five planets. That's a little better. A little more option. 
I get a kick out of looking at this. The planets are all moving in different directions. Yet the ones on uh, at the bottom here are all moving to the left. They're moving counter. They're moving clockwise. And you got the one at the sixth ring, one, two, three, four, five, fifth ring, moving in the opposite direction. So we got six planets here. Really, really weird. We're gonna go ahead and take it. Let's take a look at the system here. See if anyone's been here before too. Maybe if we've uh, we're the first ones here, we can rename some stuff while we're at it. And yes, you can do that, No Man's Sky. I have in my main save, I have an entire system named the Elon Paul system. Nope, discovered by Jag. Let's see, how long ago was that? Let's see how old this system is. Uh, Ten months ago, so not terrible. All right, so we got an unknown planet. Doesn't look like he discovered any of the planets, though. Airless. Hmm, and aggressive sentinels. How interesting. Oh, let's check out the uh, message. Incoming transmission source unknown. You are not alone. Please identify yourself. I'm... I'm going to identify myself, of course. You left me. Why did you... Tell them you don't understand. Of course you'd say that. Of course you'd... Just like the others. I ask about the others, but there's no reply. The communicator falls silent, though the channel remains open. Okay, let's see if we can get... bead on that planet over there. Let me see if I can see it in a different manner. Oop. Oop. Come on. I keep that. It keeps wanting to focus on the planet I'm next to, but if I can just get a bead on it so I don't have to go any closer. Okay, there we go. Desolate. So there's nothing there either. There's probably no life forms or anything like that. This is the planet it's directing me to. It's a scalding planet, so very, very hot, obviously. But you, what are you? Overgrown. Okay, so not quite a paradise planet, but still nice. And you, you look very cold. Yep, I'm all frost crystals. As soon as you see frost, then you know it's a cold planet. And there's one more right here. Unless that's the, oh, that's the one we haven't discovered yet. But there we go, grassy. That actually might be a nice planet. Might be. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so this might be a halfway decent system. Let's get to the planet it's directing me to. There we go. And... Let's drive my butt over there. I think that's what I like the most about this, is the... the I don't know, the graphics in such a way that it makes it almost look realistic. What it might be like if you were actually in space flying along, or anything like that. Alright, we've got vegetation popping in. So we're looking for something here. So let's scan. And we're not seeing anything. Alright, so we're going to go back into this mode and look. Looks like we've got a crashed ship over here. So we might get ourselves something. Right there. I almost guarantee you that's where we're headed. Too bad it's not a cool ship. It isn't. It's one of those cheap little ships. Alright. This looks like a good spot to park. Curious. What kind of ship we got here? That's a shuttle A class, though. It's worth something. You know what I gotta do? Uh, if I can get my get them to stay on there long enough for me to hit the button. There we go. Uh, eight creatures. There's number two. I want to get these because uh, I could really use some nanites right about now. Uh, scalding planets or hot planets are sometimes known to have a lot of flying creatures. Strangely enough. Alright. Let's go, just go ahead and take a look anyway. That's four. 
That's five. Now I'm gonna guess that there's probably like one more flying creature and a couple of underground creatures. Let's see. Ground and underground. Okay, so one more ground creature and two underground. So let's go ahead and get the mission going. Oh, we gotta repair it. Uh, we only need sodium for it, so that's and chromatic metal. Okay, good deal. I don't know how to translate those. Bzz, bzz, I guess, in a matter of... I can't really do ZZKTT. There's no vowels in there, so I don't know what else to do with it. Buzz, buzz. There are no signs of life. There is only the static of a broken communicator. Extract the records. Whatever message was once here has been scrambled beyond recovery. All I extract is the pilot's name, Artemis. Whoever they were, they are long gone. The only other uncorrupted data is a set of plans, an upgrade for my mining beam. Cool. Could always use one of those. And it looks like I have a hermetic seal and I've got the wiring looms to do it, so let's go ahead and do it. So, oh, that's right. We had gotten a new one and it was an S-Class. That's awesome. Uh, that's what we were doing at the space station. We were going to go ahead and upgrade our unit here. We got the ability to repair this. So, I am going to go ahead and repair it. Looks like I had already gotten enough to repair some of this, so... We need more sodium. And cobalt. Okay. Put you guys down here. Go ahead and install this. Now we do need carbon nanotube, so we're going to get that here in just a second because it's not going to leave us alone unless we do it. There we go. Excellent. All right. Now can we charge our thermal protection? It's going to require two batteries to do it. That's what it's saying. But I don't really want to do that. I would rather use one battery. So you see I have seven here, one here. Let's see what happens. Okay, good. See, it, only not, it brings it up to 80% or so, which isn't a big deal. So we'll take it. Now we got some tip berry technology over here. Let's go ahead and get the damaged machinery and collect what's inside. Get some nanites out of that. Condensed carbon. Okay, good. Some projectiles. Okay, good. We will have to make a gun sooner or later. Uh, I don't need that right now. Gek relic. Alright, so what do we got? And we are running low on rooms here, so we do have to be careful. Okay. And as we know, if we go over here, we don't even have to dig. got three. Okay, good. That's nice. And we get ourselves a ship out of this. Now, while we're at the space station and taking care of things, it's an A-class. I mean, it's better than the ship I've got. I get that. But, oh, what do you know? And it's, uh, it's landing gear is repaired. All I need to do is, re is get a hermetic seal, which I already got, and one metal plate. So let's claim it. But we're going to turn it in. I, I really don't like these ships. I thought I had a hermetic seal. You know what? It's on my other ship. So we'll take the hermetic seal off of here. Okay. Back over. And fix this. There we go. I don't think I'm going to repair anything else, but you know what? They got a photon cannon in here. I can't, can't do anything about it, and nothing else, I, can, I can't really gather any of these things, they're not really important. Okay, so let's head up to the space station, 
listen to that annoying noise telling us that the shield is down. Take it up to the space station, sell it, get a little bit of credits out of it, and some other stuff. Because it's an A-class, we might even be able to get an upgrade for our ship. But it's also a ship I'm not going to be um, keeping, if you will. My radiant puller, that is. I am going to eventually sell it. Now, I could, while I'm at the Quicksilver vendor, uh, Quicksilver, but, yeah, I said that. Um, gather up one of the ships I've gotten through Twitch rewards or something like that. But I'd rather get a ship that is from this playthrough. I'm not answering the communicator on purpose. I want to sell this ship, get the resources, because we're, that's going to pull in the anomaly. Gek Relic. I definitely need more sodium. I should have grabbed some while I was there. That's interesting. Antimatter housing. Yeah. A little bit of a problem here. How about you? What can I get rid of? I can definitely get more silicon powder. So let's go ahead and get rid of the rest of that. We got carbon, we got our O2, ferrite dust, we got cobalt, which we can turn into ionized cobalt. Let's go ahead and get rid of the projectiles because we don't really need those. And we'll sell the Gek Relic. And that should make us give us enough room. Uh, let me go ahead and sell it all. did find all the animals on that planet. I'm sure you already figured that out. Got a little sidetracked by the ship. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sell the antimatter housing. I can go ahead and get another one. Gek relic gone. Okay, good. That should give us enough room now. Let's go ahead and get rid of the ship. Claim the scrap, it's only 1.6 million. Even though it was really worth 10, in its current condition, it brings it down. And I get a, a very small percentage of it, but I'm still getting 1.6 million for it. And it's a ship I don't need. Now we'll get some upgrades, usually. Let's check. All right, we got a hyperdrive module, a pulse engine module, and they're A-class, so I'm actually going to keep these. And my other ship is back. It says it's out of range. Give it a moment. It'll pop in. See? It popped in. So, do I want to use these right now? Probably not. But I can store them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're really, really bothering me about it, aren't you? We need to sell these three. And see if we can get the resources to build the rest. So, let's go to the multi tool section. Um, I need more sodium, which I have to get on a planet. I need ionized cobalt, which I have to get on a planet. I can't do anything with these right now. <laughs> so I can only do it if I get to a planet. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, okay, there's really not much more to do here. Okay. And there's no ships for me to purchase, so I guess we're going to move on. Let's go ahead and answer our communicator and get to the anomaly see how things go. Is it first? Is it last? Time for truth. You have a signal, but you are not Artemis entity. Tell the truth. Your, your signal is familiar to Nada. We have been in contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come aboard. Yes? A proper introduction to our home. And guess what? Bunk. And we could go after the threat, but we're not going to. We're going to head to the anomaly. And here we go, our first introduction to the anomaly. Now, of course, my multiplayer is turned off, so you're not going to see anybody else in here. I think my audio for the game is a little loud. Let me just turn that down for a second here, folks. Hold on. 
don't know what happened there, why it's so loud. That might be better. Okay, let's see how that goes. I have been tinkering with the audio lately, so that might have something to do with it. Now, we're supposed to be headed up there to speak to Artemis, so let's go head up there. And our jetpack doesn't have the fuel. You know what we can do? We can go up the ramp and go over here. And just take a quick step. All right. I am Priest Entity Nada, Divergent Corvax. Welcome to our anomaly. Our home here is pleasant, yes? Polo's own, Polo's own design. A perfect bubble beyond the Sentinels, beyond Vengeful Corvax. Nada watches time come and go. So we're going to start at the top and start with the questions. Ask about Artemis. A traveler entity. Perhaps they are known to you. I do not know their number. Nada does not care to think about iterations as numbers. They were lost to us. Highly improbable. Our anomaly is lost to the Sentinels, but none should be lost to the anomaly. The Corvax watches me. There is a patience, an organic tilt to the way they hold their metal shell. Ask about Nada. Nada awoke with the death of Corvax Prime. Could not understand why such things happen. Why we are alone. Now I am divergent. The convergence does not see through my eyes. Nada is not alone anymore. Nada is with Polo Friend. Now many other friends visit. Our convergence is small, but not a happy. Nada's carapace pulses with a gentle light. There is something familiar about them. Ask about Polo. Polo friend found Nada, found my signal. Nada is safe. Now, Nada finds other signals, makes others safe. The station has been calling to me since I awoke on the planet. Perhaps it called to Artemis as well. Ask about the space station. Beyond what is outside, our anomaly wanders free, free like Nada, to observe, to search. The Sentinels, the Atlas, they do not care for this place. I feel their eyes, hunting us. Nada watches me, judging, judging my reactions as they speak. We're going to leave. Speak with Polo, friend traveler. Perhaps they might know more about missing Artemis. They perceive things more clearly than Nada. Okay. So we're going to go talk to Polo. Friends everywhere, if only you know where to look. Friends in all shapes, all sizes, all places. Artemis friend, you are where they should be. It does not seem possible, but all things are possible. Such is the universe. We will find them, no doubt. There is always a signal, always a trace. Ask how. Our home will see to it. When you leave, you will not be where you were. You will be closer. Or maybe not. Discovery is exciting, yes? Before you leave, perhaps spend some time with other friends? We all help each other here. Yeah, he's always cryptic with his messages. So, it tells us to start looking around and talk to others. So, if we go in here, we want to make sure that our log is set to search the space, the space anomaly. This is the second main run. Second, There's more than one main storyline here. And the anomaly is its own storyline. So we're going to go over to Helios, I think this is. Yep. Ah, young one. He always says the same thing, by the way. You who still roam the boundaries of this universe. How I envy you. My time out in reality has long passed, but I miss it greatly. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen, yearn for the stars, for the glory of discovery. Now, as you come back to him in, in subsequent missions and stuff like that, you can give data and he will give you some nanites in return. Not a lot, but he gives you some. Thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please, take these nanites. They are nothing. But they are all I have now. And he'll give you a few. Like you see, we got about, what, 120? So that's not bad. Now, you don't have to talk. They never actually have you talk to um, Ares over here. But he gives more. So, take a look. I'm at 2195, right? Traveler hopes to make progress. Traveler tests themselves. I will help. In exchange, progress for progress. Or wealth, perhaps. Experience or materials, both valid. Today, vortex cubes. So, if you have some vortex cubes on, you can turn them in and he'll give you some materials in return. Uh, honestly, the exchange is pretty, pretty light. But, 
if you transmit your milestone data. On occasion, you're going to get a lot more. Watch what happens. You have seen much, but do you understand? Not for me to know. Please take this. 800 nanites. Sweet, right? Yeah, it's always good to hit him up once in a while. Alright, so we're supposed to hit someone else. They're over there. Now, here's our appearance modifier, but we'll come back to that later. So we're going to do a little search here in the anomaly. I think some of our episodes can be spent in here. Good portion of it. Uh, looks like we need to go to the exosuit vendor. And in any any system that you go to, you know you can get an exosuit upgrade at the space station. Well, you can get another one in the anomaly. So if you call it in, you can get two upgrades to your exosuit every system you go to. Every planet, I should say. Well, no, system. System is correct. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. Traveler knew your suit is an extension of yourself. Let me aid you. He says pretty much the same two or three sayings every single time. And you can go to research suit upgrades. And you can get some for, obviously, nanites. Um, I don't usually get a lot of these, especially early game. I might get like something like this. But you'll notice what it says here. Um, harvest oxygen from the life support system. Uh, in the event of a breathing emergency, allowing the user to resurface and, and seek conventional fuel supplies. So this is for underwater. Okay? Not going to do a whole lot of that, so I don't really need it. Um, neural stimulator for jetpack tanks. You're going to get some of these on your own through the storyline. So there's no reason to do it. I really don't like the rocket boots, and I never get them. Um, they just cause a bouncing effect. So you, instead of getting one solid boost to go up a mountain, you're just jumping from spot to spot to spot to spot. Kind of annoying, actually. Um, and then the water jets. That just helps you use your jetpack underwater a little more efficiently. Again, you're going to get that later on, so you might as well hold off. The hazmat gauntlets are pretty good, but again, you get it in the main storyline. So don't bother purchasing anything at this time. I would hold off on that. So now we've got to look at base parts, but I'm going to get my exosuit upgrade while I'm here. Um... My technology area is really light. I mean, we all know I'm running out of room in here, and I need to sell these things off to make more room. But we are going to get technology as we go. So let me go ahead and... Oh, it's tempting. Let's go ahead and just get a new spot. Only had to pay a 1000 for it. And that gives us an extra spot in our exosuit, and occasionally it'll turn into a supercharged spot. And we're back. Let's see here. So it wants us to go down there to the Twitch rewards. But I thought I was supposed to. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. There's an icon right there. Let's go ahead and do this. Now we can purchase things if we have enough salvage data, which we do. I do want to get some things. I'm going to go here. Yeah. What do we have already? There's another page for other technology. Let's take a, take a look. A lot of these are cosmetics. Here it is. Alright, so we don't need any of the extractors or anything yet. Um, we have an electrical wiring, obviously. We have the gas fuel. Getting this, the electromagnetic generator, is very important because it helps you to power your base in another fashion. But you can't really do much with it until you get the visor to be able to look for those things. Um, I do like to hide my electrical wiring because I think it's annoying to look at it. I'm going to go ahead and get one. You can get whatever you want. <clears throat> Occasionally it'll kick you out as you're buying stuff. So let's see what else we got. Again, cosmetics for the base. I'm not going to get any of those just yet. Okay, you're going to get these storage containers. Don't get one yet. You're going to pay lots of salvage data to get each one. There's no use in doing so. You will get all of them for free. Alright, so we're back to these, and I'm going to stop here again. Now, one thing my base could always use is its own landing pad. So I do recommend getting one. Which, and you can get a medium refiner, which does not use any carbon. So, that's up to you if you want to use that, or if you want to get your landing pad. Now, that's another reason why I went with a... Uh, making my base next to one of those minor trading posts, is because I have a landing pad. And I can utilize that while I'm waiting. I think the medium refiner will be more valuable to me at the base. So I'm going to go ahead and get the medium refiner. Um, the other things like a health station, stuff like that, we don't really need them just yet. So let's go ahead and get the medium refiner. And 
You see how everything gets knocked out. There's no use in getting a signal booster. You'll get it when the, when the time is right or free. So I'm going to hold off on really spending too much more at this point. I don't mind having a save beacon because it could come in handy. But again, I'm going to hold off on some of these things. I don't see any reason to go any further at this point because you're going to get everything else. Most of the things you'll get here for free. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get the wall switch because you're... And the floor switch. I prefer the floor switch, to be honest. Because um, I like to be able to turn off my transport ring at my base when I'm not using it. That way I can store more power. Because it really sucks a little bit of power while you're using it. So, no use in having that. Alright, I'm going to keep the five I've got. And that should do. Okay. I'm having a little bit of a difficult time with my voice today. So I'm going to hydrate as I go. Okay. Where to? So it brings us to the... Let me just make sure here. Okay, it says to go look at somebody else. That is going to be Nada again. Let's finish the storyline in here, and then we'll go visit the Twitch vendor, and I'll modify my appearance. Oh, sorry. Have you seen them, traveler friend? Nada wishes they could. Nada regrets much. Sorry I skipped that one, but I've been doing so many speed runs lately, I'm used to just click, 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 click right through every single word run, so I'm trying to slow down a little bit. Ask what to do. Traveler entity is free to make their own path. Find Artemis Entity. Explore with others. Travel to great sites. Proceed as you will, Traveler Entity. We will aid you. Others will aid you also, even if you seek the Crimson Lyre. I thought it always thought it said Crimson Lair for some reason, but the Crimson Lyre is what it's saying here, and I, I kind of missed that. I don't know how many times I've missed that. So we're going to ask for help with exploration, ask for help with Artemis, or ask about the Crimson Lyre. Now, we already know that this is going to be the Atlas. We don't really need help with exploration. I really need to more about Artemis. So let's go ahead and go with Artemis on this one, too. Of course, Nada has a small price for you. Perhaps it will help. Perhaps not. Nada and Polo Friend will continue to search. Speak to us whenever you desire. So he gave me nanites, uh, 120 of them as a matter of fact, so that's pretty good. Now, occasionally it'll tell you to come back and speak to them, because what you will get is you will also get Quicksilver. Now, I don't have any Quicksilver to purchase of, but you know the rewards I got are going to be handy. So it says to return to space. I'm going to do that in a moment. Well, let's go over here to the Twitch rewards vendor, and let's start adjusting my appearance. Great odd exotic items, I can't really, but I've, anything you've purchased on any of your other playthroughs are available here. So that's the brilliant part of this. So let's go ahead and go to the create menu, and we're going to go backwards. You have an A and a D here to scroll through. I'm going to go to appearances and what's available. Gestures. So appearances, I have these available, which means I can take one of these. Titan Worm Cape is always really cool. I do like the Cosmic Megafauna Cape more. Not keen on this one, but I do like this one. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. You'll see that these are available because I had purchased them at another time, right? So I'm going to go through real quick. We're going to purchase some other things. Um, I don't like the Stealth Trail Chromatic. It's okay. We're going to go ahead and get these anyway because they're good on your ship. And I'm not going to install them immediately. I'm going to wait on them. The Atlas figurine. So should we go with the... Well, I'm going to be using a cape, so it really doesn't make a difference what backpack I use. So I'll hold off on those. Let's get the Polo Bonata one. Jetpack trails. I do have a specific jetpack trail I like. I'm not going to get any of these iterations. But I will get my armor. Shoulder pads. Chest piece. And which mask should we go with? Should we go first spawn? Eye of the Corvax, the Blazing Orbit, or the Sparse Horizon? It's kind of a tough choice. I've always gone with this one. 
but I always did like this one and what it could bring for me. Corvax is really interesting, and if you get the lighting right on the uh, on the lenses, it can actually light up the area around you, but I'm going to stick with the first spawn battle mask. And that should be it. Now, if we want anything else, let's take one more look in here. Um, expedition rewards, let's take a quick peek. Not owned. So we can go for the Utopia Speeder right now if we want. Not going to do that. Even though it's a brilliant ship, it's an S-Class, and I can upgrade the daylights out of it again. I want to get something from here. I can also go with the Fearsome Visor if I want, but I'm going to stick with the other one for now. Um, most of these are cosmetic items, posters, things like that, things that you can put on your base. You can get a Fleet Commander cape, which is really nice. Uh, posters, more cosmetics, Whale Stalker cases, uh, cape, cape, uh, cloak, pardon me, cloak is really good. I always like the Temporal Starship Trail, but I'm going to go with a slightly different one. There's the original Outlaw cape when it first came out. Ah, the Sputtering Starship Trail. I'm going to go that one. I can do pets as well, exotic wing pack, things like that. But you know what? And the reality glitch. Ah, I like that best on my backpack. I'll select it and I'll, th I'll think about it. More companions, the ghostly trail, cosmetics. I can get the Normandy, but I can't really get it just yet. I can get bubbles if I want to. There's the golden vector, the original. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there's the golden first spawn mask, but there's really no reason to get it. I'll I'll, I'll take a look at it and we'll collect it anyway. Um, and then there's some posters and other stuff. So, and there's all the other things I've already gotten. So, we're done there. I will take one more look at the Twitch rewards. And most of them, again, as cosmetics. Things you can put in your base. And I'll have duplicates in here as well. Um, because that's just the way it is. There's some other ships in here I can get. I've already got. I'm not going to get any of them. I could buy. I could. I could get them and sell them if I want to, but then you can never get them again. I can also get a very nice multi-tool if I want. Not going to. We're going to stick to the game and stick to the one I've got. But we do like. Yeah, see some nice multi-tools in here. More ships. I got more ships than I can actually use at this point, right? And jetpack trails again, same ones, iterations, statues. Okay. I think we're going to be pretty much done at this point. I don't see any starship trails I really want. I thought I saw one just above. Where did it go? There it is. Yeah. I used the sputtering one. That's fine. More ships. Although, although, for traveling purposes on a planet, getting one of these beetle dudes... Really awesome. I suggest it strongly if you're going to do it. Nice little ship there. Okay. We're done. Let's go adjust my appearance and we'll exit the anomaly. Continue on with the storyline. Okay. So we're going to stick with anomaly. I always like that one. Resets and stuff like that. Not really interested. Body shape. I always go with that one or... Either three or five, I personally like. I'll stick with five for now. The head. So there's your first one. Second one. See, these are the default ones you can get anytime you want. You can change their colors as you go. That one's pretty cool. It's got kind of an authenticity, like an ancient look to it almost. Uh, almost like a uh, snow trooper or something like that. And there we go. And then finally, helmet lambda. These are the ones I got. So either this one or that one. There's not a really big difference between it, but this has some markings on it that are a little different. I'll stick with the golden one, but I'm going to change the coloring of it. Uh, let's go with the torso. You notice we now have the armored chest piece. So that's going to change things. Let's go back one. Let's go ahead and start changing colors. I'm not keen on all yellow. Okay, not keen on all yellow. So we could change the accent color of the head mask. Oh, it took away the other colors. Look at that. So if I go to this one... Okay, I'm going to stick with this one because I like to have accents and other colors. So, orange, really? 
Let's see, what does black look like? That looks pretty cool. I always like the color blue. What is that going to change it to? That looks pretty cool, too. And then the accent color is from the eyes. So it's giving us the white. So watch the eyes. We can go red. I can do green. I'll go green. I mean, I got hazel eyes myself, and mine tend to lean towards green. So I'll go ahead and go with green. Uh, torso. We got five selected. We're going to put the suit accents in. It's already starting to choose other colors for us. So we're going to go see how the helmet is black. So I'm going to see what happens if I go black on the suit. And we'll go blue as well. Let me change it around. Black with blue highlights. I like that better. A little bit of green? Nah, doesn't look right. I mean, yellow goes good with that as far as the accent colors are concerned. So we'll stick with that. On to our armor. Armored shoulder pads. Yeah, that kind of bulks it out a little bit, doesn't it? Um, but I'd rather have that. It just looks really sharp. Ignore the purple. The purple is just the... Uh, uh, it's from... What am I talking about here? The glare. The glare from around the room. All right. And... It's going to put some markings on it. Oh, that's interesting. I don't know. I don't think I'd wreck that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Gloves. Again, armored exo gloves. And can we do customized accents? Let's see what happens. We're going to go black. Good. Blue. Can we do blue again? Should I go with yellow? Oh, I see what happens here. You get a yellow over there. Okay, good. Let's go with that. Onto the legs. Armored. Accents. Yeah, red. That that really fits. What does black look like on that and blue? Should we go with that or should I reverse it? Oh, I like the reverse better. Let's stick with that. And then what does the yellow look like? Oh, okay, good. The tabs all match now. Alright. Boots. Armored. Accents. Black. All black. That almost looks pretty good. But no, I think I like that better. Okay, a little bit yellow. I don't know what... Oh, the tabs on the sides. Good. Back to the backpack. Now, again, we can. all we have is a reality glitch trail, so we'll go ahead and select that. You notice I didn't choose a backpack style because I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going with my cape. And we're going to change the color of the cape. Hmm, hold on. I don't know how that changes anything. I don't see any differences. I think that's onto the backpack itself. That is pretty cool the way it looks, man. I, I really, really like it, but let's see how it looks now. No? Oh, it's got the gold. Pretty slick. Okay, let's go here and here. A blue cape. How about dark blue? That looks better. And how about we go black on the cape in the back and yellow here. Oh, wow. It turned the stripes yellow. That's what happened. Yeah, look at that. Makes them glow. That's pretty neat. And give some golden accents up here, too. Dark blue it is. Rather than black. Yeah, I'm gonna go dark blue. Let me see something here. No, no. Definitely not. There we go. All right, let's stick with that for now. And finally, the banner. Um, it doesn't match at all, so... Something like that. That's fine. We don't have to go crazy with it. Um, I usually choose, like, the pirate one. Get an accent in there, and that's it. And we can choose a title if we want. We're going to hold off on it. Okay, so I think we're done. And when you exit, it'll ask you to save. You're done. And there's my new appearance. I like it. Let's go. And then... It's got a little bit of the reality glitch. It's not as powerful as it was before. I think they've uh, tweaked it down just a little bit. Well, it's time to leave the anomaly. And we'll complete a little bit more of the run. And then we're going to call it. And we definitely need a new ship too, don't we? So we need to sell some stuff off of our person. We can't sell it here. 
No, we can't sell it here. Yeah, he's still out there. So where are we going? Anything? There it is. There's Artemis. Buzz, where? Buzz. Is there anyone out there? It's outside. It... Something's wrong with... Identify yourself. I tell the stranger that I can hear them. There's a moment's pause. The only sound I hear is the background hiss of cosmic radiation. You... You found me. There's so little light. I thought I'd never hear another soul again. I really did. How did you find my voice? Say you found a crashed ship. I tell the stranger about the abandoned starship wreck and how I found their communicator ID in the distress beacon. I begin to mention the anomalous space station, but they cut me off. Not to mention I didn't tell them I, you know, took the ship and sold it. It's outside, but I think I'm safe. There are 16 of them. They look just like... Ask about the 16. Fear and confusion dance within their eyes, within the eyes of the stranger. After a few moments of silence, they turn to me, imploring. You don't know who you are, do you? You... It lied to me. It lied to all of... The sound cuts out, but their face lingers on, silent, before it too fades into nothingness. End communication. This must be Artemis, and they are clearly in need of help. I need to find a way to boost their signal. Okay. So, we have to locate a space station. Tell no, no. Yeah, it keeps popping that up because it's in the way. We're not going to do base computer archives. It just popped us out of there. Now, you notice the space anomaly is now taking up a main path. The Atlas path is now taking up a main path and alone amidst the stars, which is the very, very first and main storyline with Artemis. So, you got to go back in here and reselect it, or else it's going to get confusing. Okay. Where to? We're going to scan. And Hollow Terminus is detected. Yeah, 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 I know. Alright, so we're back to the same very hot planet. Okay. On our way. Now again, one of these portions, I am going to go and find myself a decent starship. We have enough money on us to get something halfway decent, but it'd probably be no more than a B-class at this point. We're gonna need ourselves at least 20 or 30 million to get something decent, and if we find an exotic, well, that's gonna be quite closer to 30 to 35 mil at least. But that's where our medium refiner comes in. Now remember, we want to fix our multi-tool. Alright, let's do a quick scan. Alright, we have something... Or is it like right in front of me? No? I suppose, oh, it's right there. I'm sorry. It's all these tall plants. I couldn't see it. So that's probably going to be the spot. And there it is. Land on the green circle. There we go. Now, something I'm going to do. I do not, do I have a portable refiner on me? No, I don't. It's kind of dumb. Don't know why I don't have one with me. Now, I need sodium. So let's get some of this. We need more sodium, and I think I have sodium nitrate. I do. Oh, it's going to be two for one. Let's go ahead and do it. Because I need that to repair my multi tool. And the other thing I'm going to need is ionized cobalt to fix up the multi tool. I think I need at least 75 to 100 of that. So I think the title for this is going to be Fixing Things Up. Now we're not going to get much out of this cobalt. 71, I'm going to knock it down to 70 so I don't use it all up. We could use a cave, which I do not see anywhere. Yeah, there's, no, that's a shadow. Some navigation data, a little bit of nanites. Remember, we needed to find a couple more creatures here, so. Let's 
Those might be underground creatures. Creatures, I mean, sorry. Words. It's funny, I, uh... You know, English is my first language and I still have trouble with it. Um, let's look for humming sacks. If we can find humming sacks, there'll be a subterranean relic even works. Okay, there's an underground cave right there. Um, why do I need that? I need to get underground so I can get... Oh, what do you know? Hi there. I need some... There, that stuff. Need some cobalt. Oh, gold is good too. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a lot of cobalt here. It doesn't look at the, co the... It goes very far. <sighs> You're annoying. <sighs> 38. That's all I got out of that. Okay. You know what? I haven't scanned it. There's a secondary element here. Okay. You know, you're gonna, I'm just going to upset him. Alright. Not much of a choice in the matter. Haha. Uh -huh. I'd like to say you missed me, but you didn't. How come I can't get up the slope? Wow, okay. Really need to upgrade my ex and my uh, jetpack. Alright, here we go. Well, the good news is... Is that there's a couple buildings here, so I'm gonna just step inside one. Hmm. Let me get that while I'm here. I don't know if they can find me in here. Oh, not that it makes a difference. I think I've already taken care of that problem. All right. All right, they gave us a little bit more. Okay, that might give us all we need. Where is my, uh, there it is. All right, let's do some repairs over to here. So we should have enough sodium now. Uh, a nice cobalt. Looks like we only had three of them, so we just needed 75. And do we have enough for the last one? We were short five. We can always use cobalt. So, and I'm, now that my inventory is full. Okay. So we only had the one supercharged slot in here, but that's okay. Now that the whole weapon is freed up, I have room to do other things. So I'm going to move you over here. That should make it a little bit more powerful. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. And what else do we need? We need to move things out of here. So let's move this into our starship. Okay. Get the gold into the starship. And we will have to free all that up one of these days. Yeah, I'll put him in the starship for now, but... And we're gonna obviously sell these off, because we didn't get the money we were supposed to get while we were in the space station. That's my fault. Okay. Alright, we're in good shape. There we go. Not anymore, it isn't. Ha ha. Okay. Let's pick you up. Put that in my starship. Okay, so what are we supposed to be doing here? We're supposed to check out the hollow terminus. We should go into those two. I definitely don't have the booster pack power to get all the way up there, so we're going to have to take the long way. And we're very quickly arriving at the end of our hour mark. And we will continue this on the next episode, most likely once we're done here. Up we go. And we're up. 
We have to repair it, of course. Looks like it requires a lot of sodium to do so. It's the only time you should have to do that, though. That's the good news. Multiple sources detected. A tower. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. The extra power should allow me to reestablish the connection, the connection to Artemis. Tune in Artemis's frequency. I try to locate Artemis' frequency, uploading the data from our previous communication. Oof, right through my head. Love when I do that. There he is. Who's who's there? You. It's you again, isn't it? You really are real, aren't you? You aren't a dream. Say you are real. I really hope so, actually. I'm sorry. It's hard to think here. Something's wrong with the... Something. It's easy to create a better reality when you have to. I thought you might be a dream. I'm sorry. I haven't heard another voice in so long. Not since I cut the speaker from my exosuit. It said such terrible things. Ask who they are. Not what they are. The stranger smiles through the static. I'm just like you. You are a traveler of worlds, aren't you? Ask how they know. They do not respond with speech. They transmit a vision, a red star with a fragile and a fragile fragile or fragile world. I do not understand the shapes within, the whispers. I see life forms scattered to the far reaches of the galaxies. I see the stranger's first breath, yearning for the stars. I see myself slumbering in the crimson void, waiting for a dream of worlds. And through the darkness, I hear it said. Anomaly detected. Designation Traveler. Awaken. What I showed you just now, it has haunted me since I awoke. You must recognize it too. We are the travelers, discoverers of worlds. From the moment you opened your eyes, you must have known you were not like the others. So did I. Before I became stranded here, I was on a journey to... To finally meet. It cannot be a coincidence that you found this signal. Tell me, do you still have the data log from that crash ship? Eh, that's about all I got, buddy. Upload the data. I upload my exosuit's records, including the strange transmission I received and the data I found at the crash ship. Much of my equipment is damaged. I am alone, on foot, stranded on a sunless world. I don't even know how your signal is reaching me. But this ship you found, it belonged to me once. Perhaps there is hope after all. Uh, not if you want the ship back. We need to work out where we both are. If you build the signal boosters across the system, we should be able to triangulate your position. I should be able to find my way out, and you'll get, the, all, the, get all the answers you seek. Agree with the plan. Thank you, Traveler. You're going to save my life. You're going to find me. Going to find me. All right. Just want to make sure no other transmissions are coming through. So, see, you get your signal booster right here. That's part of the... Part of the whole thing. Now, I need sodium. I'm going to have to go on a hunt for some sodium. I need carbon nanotubes and metal plating. I am running... I don't think I'm running low on... things. Definitely need sodium... Just check in here real quick. Do have some more ferrite in here. And magnetized as well. Okay. So, we kind of got stuff that we can use in here, so... Okay. So, there's where we are. And this is where I think we're going to pause our episode and hold off doing anything else. So, that is salt. We don't need that. It's always good to check out the things near you in case there's something you can use. Copper, I can't use just yet, but I'm going to hang on to it. Alright, dropping down. Do it just right. You won't hurt yourself. Um, it's almost tempting going in there and trying to get some more cobalt, to be honest. But Okay, so we're going to hold off on the rest of this. And we're going to call it... We're going to call it what it is, the end of an episode. So in the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to try to acquire a new ship. Um, I think we want something a little bit bigger and better than the Radiant Pillar. We're going to need some money to do that. Uh, actually, that salt deposit could go a good way to it. If I'm not mistaken, if I put salt in a uh, refiner, I should get some chlorine out of it. And chlorine's still worth something right now. Um, but we'll sell off what we have in our inventory, and we'll go from there. Now, hopefully I can get another one of these uh, recorded, if you will, um, probably this weekend. Um, I guess on a personal note, now that we're at the 
just about at exactly at the hour mark. Um, got a lot of construction going on on this end. Uh, not in No Man's Sky, that's another story. It's actually going to be in the personal life. We uh, have our uh, oldest is going to be moving back in with us, which is going to be fun. Uh, we're really looking forward to having her here. But it's going to require us to build some stuff in the house. So you figure if you're going to be building a room or um, uh, uh, sequestering off a portion of your house for her, um, hey, why not uh, sequester off a portion of your garage too and build an office that you can do this gaming in? And maybe they could be a big reveal in a few months. So we'll show you the new designed room. I've got so many things I can put into that room. Um, not to mention our collection of books, but I can also be doing showing you some of my old systems like my own uh, Super Nintendo, the Sega, and have them displayed promptly in the background for uh, viewing pleasure. So that's going to be something we'll do in a live stream one day, I think, uh, and we'll go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Here's our save point, and I want to thank you all for watching. So we're going to do a quick screenshot to give this our shot at the beginning of the episode of where we are. So good deal. Nice picture. And again, thank you all for watching. Uh, hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. And by all means, leave comments. I'll go ahead and respond as quickly as I can. If you have any questions, glad to answer them. Everybody take care. And again, thank you all for watching.